Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this video, I would just like to answer some questions that I get asked quite frequently on this channel regarding uh, feature updates for both Windows 10 and 11. Um, questions like how many feature updates will be rolling out, when will they be rolling out, what's the end of support, the life cycle, and so on. And I hope by the end of this video that I would have answered uh, those questions for those of you who are unaware and that you would have found the information useful. Now, up until last year, uh, Windows 10 received two main feature updates per year, mainly in May and October and or November of every year. Now, last year, in 2021, when Windows 11 rolled out, Microsoft announced that Windows 11 would only be getting one feature update going forward per year. And then later on in the year, in November, um, which I did post a video on and I will leave a link to down below, they announced that Windows 10 also would only be getting one feature update per year going forward. So for both Windows 10 and 11, currently, according to Microsoft, both those operating systems, Windows 10 and 11, will only be getting one feature update uh, going forward every year now um, until uh, Microsoft changes that because we are dealing with uh, Microsoft and that could change at any time, but that's how it is currently. And... For Windows 10, every feature update is supported for 18 months up until the 14th of October 2025 when Microsoft will retire and the Windows 10 operating system will reach its end of life. So after the 14th of October 2025, Windows 10 will be getting no more updates and will have reached its end of support according to Microsoft, which they posted last year back in November of 2021. Now, for Windows 11, it's a little bit different. And for Windows 11, for uh, the operating system, currently uh, Microsoft has said that every version of the operating system will be getting 24 months of support. So currently the, la the latest stable version of Windows 11, which is version 21H2, which rolled out in October of last year, 2021, um, will reach its end of life and end of support on the 10th of October 2023. So that means you've got two years of support per version and feature update that rolls out for uh, Windows 11. And you have got 18 months of support up until October of 2025 for Windows 10 for every feature update that rolls out for Windows 10. Now, if we just head over to uh, our search uh, in both Windows 10 and 11, and you do a search for WinVer, which will take you to the OS build and the version of the operating system that you, are, that you are running. And most of you do know this. For Windows 11, the latest version is 21H2. And that's exactly the same for Windows 10. The 21H2 has nothing to do with the OS build, which changes when every major cumulative update or optional update rolls out. So the latest version for Windows 11 is 21H2, which means it rolled out in 2021. And the H2 stands for it rolled out in the second half of the year. And that's exactly the same for Windows 10. So that version number just uh, gives you information regarding when the feature update rolled out. And that version rolled out. The OS build for the current stable version of Windows 11 is 22,000.613. And that gets updated to a new OS build every time a cumulative update or optional update rolls out for Windows 11. And that's exactly the same for Windows 10. And for Windows 10 version 21H2, the latest OS build is 19044.1645. So the OS build and the version number are two different things. And um, so for this year, the feature update rolling out for Windows 10 and 11 will be called version 22 h2 for both operating systems so that means it's rolling out in 2022 and will roll out in the second half once again and that means it could possibly roll out in october and november later on this year which uh, due to the update history uh, and, and cycle of updates for the windows operating system that is generally when microsoft rolls out the updates in the latter half of the year now to answer a final question i get asked and that is why is there no version 
uh, 22H1 this year. So as mentioned earlier, Microsoft has announced that there's only one feature update rolling out per year. So there is going to be no version 22H1 for both Windows 10 and 11. That is does not exist and will not be rolling out. So if you are expecting a feature update to roll out for Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, this year in May, there is no feature update rolling out. So as mentioned, Microsoft announced last year only one feature update, and that will be 22H2 rolling out for both Windows 10 and 11. And then, of course, we are dealing with Microsoft. So that's how it is currently. But that could change in the future, and they could change the release cycle for those updates. But currently, one feature update per year. There is no 22H1 rolling out this year in May. And we are expecting to see a, a version update, a feature update for both uh, Windows 10 and 11 version 22H2 rolling out in October and or November of this year, 2022. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.